Okay, CD, so this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to make a timer for your PVs, I guess for time splitters too. So you get your video, of course. Okay, so you get your start, and then I guess you go roughly to the end. Doesn't matter, you'll figure that out after. So what you do is right click and you insert a video track so you'll have this empty track here on top and then you insert text media and once you have your text media open once it decides to load because for some reason my computer is acting really slow right now i have no idea why you'll have your little sample text there and what you're going to do is go ahead and remove that so there's nothing there and change your duration to anything over your your um length of the video so I just put you know 50 as in doesn't matter just anything longer than the length of your video so you could stretch that timer out all the way well your text media box then you can right click on the text and you click media FX and from there once that box loads you click on time code and you click OK and then a box should pop up on your side I'll get it in screen one second um, and then you click on times and frames then you have the time and frame there and if you want to move it to a different position on the screen you just right click and click video pin and crop and from there once it loads because it's slow for some stupid reason uh, then you can shift it when you pan and crop it into any position you want so we'll just toss it down I don't know say let's say there just for the sake of it so you got your timer, right? And you know you want your timer to stop, you know, at a certain point in your run, preferably when you hit the complete screen. So we'll just move up ahead here to the complete screen. And we're gonna go back to the exact frame right there. So what you're gonna do is right click and then you're gonna click on insert and remove envelope and then do velocity. And then right click that little green line that gets created and do hold. And then on the exact frame where you want to stop that timer, you right click there and you click add point. And then you right click again and then click set zero velocity. So as you see, timer's going, timer's going, timer's going. And it stops. And that's pretty much it. Thank you.